So in, in general, uh, in C language itself, uh, you have studied about a string. So what is meant by string means it is a sequence of characters. So but in Java, it is not like that. Actually, string is an object. So you know that in Java, everything is about the classes and object. So actually, the string, the name uh, is actually a class. So string here is an object that represents a sequence of characters. So we are going to uh, create an object for the string class. By using that, we are going to access uh, the lot of uh, functions. Okay. So again, uh, it is an object that represents a sequence of characters. So what is a uh, package we are using for uh, string related uh, uh, classes? Is we are using Java dot lang dot string. Okay. So far. Uh, we used java.util package, then java.io package. Java.util package it is used for getting the class, uh, getting an input from the user. Then for string related, uh, we are using java.io. But uh, if you want to use uh, string related classes, so we have to use uh, java.lang.string. Okay. So this is a language related class. Okay. Uh, this class actually java.lang.string class it is used to create a string object. This is about uh, introduction about a string. Uh, next one we are going to see about uh, how to create a string. Okay. Uh, what is the syntax? So we can create a string uh, by using two ways. Okay. Uh, one by using a literal and the other one by using a new keyword. Okay. By using these two methods, we can create a string. So what are the two methods? Is one is by using a string literal and the other one by using a new keyword. Okay, we have new keyword. I, uh, we already used in uh, uh, when we create object, we already used a new keyword. The same way we are going to use it here also. Uh, first one by, by using a string literal, another one by using a uh, new keyword. First one we will see about uh, how to create a string uh, by using a literal. So literal, okay, Java string literal is created by using double mode. Okay, uh, in uh, C language itself, uh, you have a, uh, you know how to create a string. Okay, suppose if it is a single character, uh, you are using char, uh, then C gets equal to within single quote, you are mentioning the uh, character. Suppose if you want to use uh, within double quotes, you have to use the character array. Char C gets up to equal to within double quotes, you have to mention the sequence of characters. Okay, but in uh, string actually, we uh, use it as a literal. Okay. Uh, we have separate key, uh, separate class name is available for string, but uh, in Java, uh, C language that no uh, string uh, keyword is available, but in Java it is available. How to create here is so each time we have to create a string literal. So what the JVM will do is JVM will check the string constant pool first. Okay. Is already exist in the pool means the reference to the pool instance is returned. Otherwise. If the string does not exist in the pool means uh, a new string instance is created and placed in the pool. And uh, this is a syntax for how to create a string by using a literal. Okay, uh, this is one uh, is an example for how to create a string by using literal. First, you have to mention the string class name string. So here S is a capital letter followed by object name. This is an object name. So what is the object name I am using here is yes, small s. So equal to uh, within double quotes, we got to mention the sequence of characters. Okay. So as it is mentioned here, Java string literal is created by using double quotes. Okay. Here uh, within double quotes, I have mentioned the sequence of characters. So as I told each time you create a string literal. So JVM checks the string constant pool first. Okay. Uh, if the string already exists in the pool means uh, the reference to the pool uh, pool instance is written. Otherwise, uh, string doesn't uh, doesn't exist in the pool means string instance is created and placed in the pool. Uh, next one, second method. This is uh, a second method. Uh, how to create a string by using a new keyword. Okay, this is uh, as like uh, how we are creating an object. So what we did here is uh, we are writing. Uh, class name followed by object name equal to new keyword followed by again class name uh, within bracket you got to mention the sequence of characters okay so this is your uh, string class name followed by yes so yes is an object name uh, equal to new string of within double quotes you got to mention the sequence of characters 
Now, what will be the value? What is the content of object it says? You may have the uh, sequence of characters welcome. So it may contain uh, welcome. So what is the length of this uh, string is? It is seven. Okay, length of the string is seven. So W E L C O M E. Okay. Uh, once the end of the string is uh, reached, it will return minus one actually. Okay. How do you find whether the end of the string is uh, reached or not? Means uh, it have the value minus one. Now we will see an example program uh, how to create uh, a string by using both the methods uh, by using literal keyword as well as by use by using literal as well as by using a, a new keyword how we are going to create a string. Now first one I have mentioned the class name my class name is string example main function here uh, I have created a string object first string object by using a literal. Okay, uh, here string is a class name string followed by object name s1 equal to within double quotes you have to mention the sequence of characters. Remember upper case and lower case are different in Java. Okay, so here I am uh, representing only the lower case letters. So J A V A. So then we can write like this also. This is actually a character array C H uh, empty uh, square brackets. S T R I N G S. So what will happen here is in the first uh, space that is first index that is C H of 0 S will be stored C H of 1 T will be stored like that it will be stored. Okay, how many what is the length here is S T 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 okay uh, totally 7. So so it will be first index it will be C H of 0 then 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then again, I am uh, uh, creating here by using a new keyword string. Again, object name is S2 equal to uh, new string of CH. Okay, now here content of string CH is uh, strings. Uh, that will be available in uh, object S2. Similarly, in object S3, uh, again the string of string uh, object only. So, string is a class name followed by object name is S3 equal to new string of example. So example again, like I mentioned within double quotes. So now I am going to print all the strings. How can you print this? System dot out dot print ln S1. So S1 means what is the content of S1? Java. What is Java? So Java will be printed in S1. Then S2 uh, strings and S3 example. Okay. So what will be the answer here is for content of S1 is Java, content of S2 is strings and the content of S3 is example. Okay. So this is a this is your first example by using strings. Okay, I repeat one more time. Here we are not doing any operations, string handling function. I didn't do anything, just I am creating uh, three string objects. Okay, there I am storing the content. Okay, uh, as I told you can uh, create a string uh, by using two ways. One is by using a literal and the other one uh, by using a new keyword. Okay, here this is my class name and this is my main function. Then uh, here I am creating three string objects S1, S2 and S3. So content of S1 is Java, content of S2 is uh, strings and the content of S3 is example. So this one I have created by using a string literal. Uh, these two are uh, these two uh, statements. I have created a string object by using a new keyword. Okay, string S2 equal to new string of CH and a string S3 equal to new string of example. Then I am printing all those S1, S2, and S3. Okay, anybody having doubts, ma? So far? No, sir. Okay. So <clears throat> here. Uh, one important property for string object is string objects actually are immutable. So what is immutable means? Uh, it simply means unmodifiable or unchangeable. Whatever content uh, that is stored in that object, okay, so it will be unmodified. It is unmodifiable or unchangeable. You cannot change the content of the string. Okay, once it is uh, declared, so once we have assigned the value for the string object, so we cannot change or we cannot modify. 
okay as it is mentioned here once a string object is created its data or state can be changed but a new string object uh, can be created okay the original string object whatever content uh, we stored uh, that uh, we cannot change but uh, we cannot we can uh, create a new string object and we can assign something okay that i will explain uh, with the help of one program okay uh, this is an example program as i told uh, the string objects are immutable okay uh, here class name is uh, test immutable string main function here i uh, represented here string s equal to sachin within double quotes i have mentioned sachin now uh, actually this is uh, one function uh, concatenation what is a function name i have used here is concatenation so concatenation means uh, appending the content to the end of the string okay that will be actually the concatenation you already studied about uh, concatenation in c language itself so there are uh, string handling function string copy string concatenation string reverse string length like that you have studied in c language uh, you, you can use this function str cat so str cat function uh, is a built in function it is used for concatenating the two, two strings in c language but in java we have the function is available that function is concat okay so here what i did here is string s2 here i am creating a new object so string s2 equal to s dot concat of tendulkar okay so s dot concat of tendulkar okay now what will happen is in string s2 what the content available is s so s already we got sachin concat of tendulkar so concat of tendulkar means sachin and tendulkar will be concatenated and uh, what will be the answer now is so now when you look at this program uh, what will be the answer for first printl and statement is system dot out dot printl and of yes okay when you print the first statement what is the content of yes is it is sachin so only that sachin will be printed okay so now when you go for yes to what will be the answer here is sachin tendulkar that will be the answer so first one sachin will be printed for second one we got sachin tendulkar will be printed answer what will be the answer here is for first print and statement sachin second one we got sachin tendulkar so this will be the answer so answer will be here Followed by such and such. So why I told this example here is because string objects are immutable. So immutable means so whatever content available in yes, so that is unmodifiable or unchangeable. When you print yes, so you are getting the same uh, content. Even though I have done modification here, yes dot concat of tendulkar. So here this will do the concatenation and the result will be stored in object S2. As I told in the previous slide. so what i told in the previous slide is once the string object is created its data or state can be changed but a new string object is created okay so here uh, what i did is i am creating a new string object what is my string object is s2 now here i am doing concatenation s dot concat of tendulkar so now as i told what is the answer here is sachin followed by sachin tendulkar 